Well, hello there. Today, right now, we're going to jump in particle coloring with attributes in Maya V-Ray. Um, simply, you know, imported particles from RealFlow, for example, RPC, and how to do that and uh, why it's so fun. Um, I know in other software, and you know, in other cases, it's much more easy to do. And in Maya, we have some uh, with the real flow particles, we have some difficulties, um, but it's not that difficult uh, anymore. I will show you how to do this and you will be uh, hopefully uh, playing around much more with that. And I really I'm really looking forward for your test. So send me out or uh, you can find my contacts and, and catalysy.com. Um, yeah, so this is an example, very slight example, because it's, um, as you can see, we have different uh, colorings over here but it's uh, almost black and white so it's really hard to see but um, you can see um, the let me show you another one um, you can see uh, the patterns over here and these are uh, moving um, and um, totally um, wonderful way to work through designs and do something different rather than just simple splashes or whatsoever you can go way more creative with that and here's um, the very rough example of <laughs> bright colors and coloring and stuff um, so they can see patterns are coming over here and all of this is uh, made by uh, particle coloring and uh, we use velocity as an attribute for that and that's what i'm going to show you how to do it um if we jump into simulation itself as you can see we see the patterns coming out of velocity coloring over here uh, so you can have very rough preview on what you can do with particle coloring in general but other than that you can control that and make totally different even shapes uh, depending on your ramp and stuff and uh, yeah so as you can see you can do things much more subtle in the end and uh, or <laughs> something crazy like this um, but you know this is very low quality test but uh, I I I bet you get the point. So without any um, waste of time let's jump into Maya and do uh, coloring together. So we have simple scene. Um, ignore these hidden particles because we will do from scratch. Um, uh, we have few lights. Um, you can just put on a simple dome light or you know whatever, whatever. You just need a one light. And definitely open up V-Ray over here. If you don't see it here, remember uh, Windows setting preferences, plugin manager. And you find it and load and auto load and then you can close this is how you um take it back take back the control um other than that for now we will leave overrides off um but eventually i uh, highly recommend you also always use some override environment um you know gi texture re reflection texture refraction whatever you display around with these for now we will keep it off and we have a velocity um, channel rendered and Z depth, um, you know, for the finals, if we need to. Um, but you can skip that too for now because we are focusing on the coloring itself. Um, okay, so we will use very low resolution just to see the point at the beginning. And alrighty, so what you need to do first is to load up your particles. So load it up rpc uh, we will be using i don't remember i guess it's this one yes um the same one i showed you before this is a simulation um let's choose frame 177 and i have camera set it up um to be seen whoops um to be seen clearly uh, what we have and uh, so first and foremost what you do once you 
import particles you go ahead to particles shading and choose spheres <laughs> instead of points in order to see those spheres and everything as you can see pardon we already see some of it oh uh, it looks terrible by the way um so we need to adjust particle size let's go down a bit quite a bit uh, we can change this later anyhow and uh, now right click and assign um, new material d-ray simple material there you go and let's change just the color um and let's render render it out <laughs> what oh what's happening on my um render it out um very quickly there you go we see it all simple oh it's so long by the way let me see shouldn't be that long there you go without GI for now um, as you can see it's all in one one color and that's it um, so let's bring up the hyper shade if you don't know where it is sim oh <laughs> we got it I know window uh, rendering editors and hyper shade we have it over here so we have this V-ray material for now and we need particle sampler info mm. oh sorry there you go and and bring it back distance between Just bear with me, this is a slightly long process, but then eventually you can copy and paste those and um, just change the RAMs and stuff. Um, so it's worth the hassle. So we will connect world velocity to point 0.2 and then distance drag over this white dot and color, diffuse color R. Now let's render it out very quickly. What do we have here? There you go, we already see some arrangement going on, you know, by velocity. And uh, this might be even enough for you, depending on your simulation and what you need to do. However, you, we don't have super much control yet, so let's bring more control. More control of it. We need ramp. My favorite ramp, by the way, just a quick reminder. This is how you can create falloff effect with the ramp as well. Just instead of particle sampler info, use sampler info and use uh, facing ratio. Um, okay, so we have ramp. Uh, we need to change ramp to U, and you will see in a second why. Uh, so let's delete this one, and we need to connect distance with U since we have U ramp and uh, color drop to color now let's have a render now there you go we have something going on already so we need more control we need to multiply divide where are you And uh, we need to connect with input one. And uh, important thing, input two, let's multiply it. And output x to you. 
now we connected it um let's render it out you won't see it much yet so let's do it, it the right way we need clamp just trust me this works it goes so far away and uh, we need to connect output to input use a maximum tab doesn't work here <laughs> um already to one and uh, i'll put r to you this way we connect things even further let's keep keep it more visible for you the connections we still have something to connect but first let me show you um what this actually means let's go down to 0.5 for example and it actually pushes those colors to act more visibly so you you can gain control with that as you can see it's like um it could be th thought of like levels in photo photography or in post-production right you push things or you know pull back let's play around just a little bit more and this is it we have the setup um all you need to do is play around the with two things so the ramp itself you change the color you can change whatever um, keep in mind the very important part is that this multiply divide and this number um as i told you it takes like levels whatsoever so this is really really important other than that play around with these colors and let me show you a few other examples i made um let me bring back uh, the first shader i made um i, I guess this was the one um and uh, there's a slight change in that um oh the metal one let, let me see um so you can use this output this part differently you can use it as a color itself as i showed you before or you can use it as a reflection refraction maps so this is how you actually um play the the game with all of this um so keep in mind that you can do much more than just colors itself but control the material in a different different way um, so let me show you how it looks this is the low quality of it as you can see some bluish stuff coming up and it has reflection we we'll definitely need higher resolution of that so let me render it out it's almost finished um, still too far away but uh, you, you can see the reflections and stuff uh, and we enabled overrides over here and GI is on so this makes a difference and we can go to different angle of the camera um, to show you slightly more there you go see the reflections are here and stuff like that and refractions um, velocity channel as you can see is working Z depth and all that are jazz um so yeah so these are things i wanted to show you today and keep in mind really important multiply divide part and uh, ramp itself um play around with you know we can go out color just drag and drop drag and drop <laughs> here and you can use like opacity map illumination and all of all of the things you see over here so there's plenty of ways you can use this one and um, yeah so you can do various things with this 
Um, yeah, so just play around and uh, have fun. Share with me anything you create. I'm really, really um, excited to see what you will come up with. Finally knowing how to do this in Maya V-Ray with real flow particles, for example. And uh, you can share with me via email. You can find contacts at catalcy.com or in Facebook groups. We have um, some groups with that. And uh, yeah, if you're in Lemoti Design, as always, you can share in Slack chat and uh, Dropbox we share. So sending you um, good creative vibes and uh, please share with me and have fun.